I play basketball and basketball's fun, right? Yep. And I was never that great, but you know, I, I was always passionate about it. But in basketball, you know, there are some like tr- devastating injuries, mm-hmm. but you don't really get as many bumps and bruises. Hockey's pretty physical. <laughs> I mean, talk to me about like recovery and grit and what it takes, like the, the mental fortitude. Well, I think it, like you said, I mean, it is mindset. A lot of it's mindset because, you know, we're playing three games in three nights sometimes. And that's, really? you know, you get beat up. You get really, really beat up first night. You know, you're all right, but you don't really sleep sleep, sleep that well that night. Next game, you're getting beat up. You, mm-hmm. you block a shot in the ankle. Your ankle's swollen. You got to ice it up. Um, every game we go in the cold tank, you know, you pull a groin or you tweak a groin or a, or a knee, you jump in the cold tank. And I don't know if you've ever jumped in a cold tank. But a cold, I've, full, I've, I've done ice baths, an, but not. Uh, it, oh, it's, it is cold. So <laughs> every day you got to do that, and that's that's a mental grind. Mm-hmm. And just the mental, you know, you, you think about the game uh, mentally, not only physically, but mentally. You're talking about, you know, there's guys getting called up mm-hmm. um, from different organizations, from different levels, trying to take your job every single day. Yeah. And you're playing against the same type of guys. So they're right. gunning for you because – they're looking to get better. They're looking to get called up or, or stay where they're at. So mm-hmm. it's it doesn't end. It's just a grind. It's the grit every day. Does it ever feel like a job? Uh, 100%. It was a job. It was a job? Yeah, you know, 100%. And, you was know, there a do, point where like like hockey was a passion and then it no longer was a passion? Toward, towards the end of my career. Um, I started, probably the last two years I started looking at it saying, you know what? You, you, get, you get tired towards the end. You know, the summertime, you're not working as hard. You're kind of saying, all right. I know the end is near, Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, you're not lifting as hard. You're not running as hard. You kind of know it's coming to an end, so your your mind starts changing a little bit, and that's that's exactly what happened to me. I knew, you know, for me, I had my first kid. I was married, and um, I'm looking to say, all right, what's going to happen next? What's going to be the next step? So Mm -hmm. um, that's real in any athlete, and I, I don't know if you know this, but I have a podcast called Pucks to Properties. Yeah. And, uh, and the mission there is to, to help any athlete. Right now we focus on uh, hockey players because life after the transition is very, very difficult. You yeah. go through kind of a, a depression or a lull, however you want to look at it. And well, a loss of identity. Lo- bingo. That's exactly what it is. It's a yeah. loss of identity. Your whole identity growing up is hockey. It's all mm-hmm. you have. And you're trying to say, what's next? Well, you know, I, I'm